everyone, my name is David Giulio with Ozen Engineering and in this video I will show you how to use the ANSYS Maxwell sheet scan tool to import data sets of material characteristics such as complex permeability versus frequency, BH curves or power versus B curve. Let's say for this P-Core using power electronics applications in wireless power transfer or charging, we have this ferrix cube material 3F46 material specification and we want to use this complex permeability as a function of frequency curve. So take an image snip of the plot, save the image, and in Maxwell go to project data sets, then select sheet scan, this window will pop up and you will need to set up the sheet scan file. I already have it set up and saved so I'll open it and show you and the process is simple. So first step is on the ribbon, select picture, load the picture you saved and created from the material specification sheet. Then coordinate system, on the ribbon, select coordinate system properties. Then we need to define the grid. So we need to select three points. First point could be the lower left corner of the plot. Second point could be the top left corner of the plot. And third point could be the top right corner of the plot. And the sheet scan will show you the X and Y coordinates for each point selected and for each point selected, we need to manually input the x and y values, right? Set the scaling um, to logarithmic for the x-axis and y-axis. And then on the ribbon, select curve, change settings. We need to define the x-axis and y-axis data. So input the names, units used. We're using SI units, so we need to set, um, apply scaling factor 1000 for frequency since it's in kilohertz and for the scaling of y-axis is one because the units are henry's per meter and do not need a scaling factor okay now we need to carefully select points along the plot so from left to right enter points the more accurate you enter the points the more accurate the data set will be and the left side shows the data set table created by selecting all the points. Then save the file, and then on the ribbon, select file, export, and th this file, this data will be exported in, into a data set, which we choose to be a tab file, because tab files are used to import data into ANSYS Maxwell. So once that is done, we can click out of here, and we have the data set as a tab file, we can now import the data set, choose the file to import, which is this one, but I, I already did import it, so I'll just show you how it looks. All right? so in, in the sheet scan, we set the axes to logarithmic scale, but in ANSYS Maxwell, it shows up as a linear plot, which doesn't matter because it's still used the same way. So done. Now select the material, and in properties, edit material, and here is for relative probability, type is simple, but we're using a, a variable for the value, right? It's piecewise linear function, and on the left side of the argument, we put the name of the data set, and the right side of the argument is the intrinsic variable frequency for the ED current solver. So the dollar sign is here because this is a global data set. So, so, so depending on the frequency used in the e-current solver, the data set will be used to determine the real probability of the data set, right? So let me, let me go back. So the complex probability has two components, real and, comp and imaginary, right? So I, created a curve for the real component of the complex probability, right? So this is giving us real probability. So you can create, a, you could create a, a separate data set for the imaginary part, but I'm using the real part, okay? So that is all for this video. In the next video, I will show how to set up the Corlos model. So we have, for electric steel, it uses the Bertotti Corlos model, and power, power ferrite uses the Steinmetz Corliss model, and for both models, we need to use Corliss coefficients, and I will show how ANSYS Maxwell can be used 
to extract those coefficients by just using um, data sets from the material characteristics from the manufacturer's data sheet. So by using the sheet alone, right, the, the plot uh, could be um, starting from a PDF or an image, we, we can extract the color's coefficients, right? That will be for the next video. So if you like this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell all your friends and colleagues to subscribe, and I'll, we will be creating uh, more content, so be, be on the lookout, stay tuned. And if you can contact us for service we provide, we provide consulting services, training to use ANSYS Maxwell and other ANSYS tools, and we provide demonstrations um, showing you how we can help you and your organization in achieving your technological goals. Thank you and take care.